What does Sting look like in our world here? Is Sting the, the colorful kind of superhero paint? Is he the dark Sting with the, no, the black no. and the bat? What, no. What's your vision for Sting no, if we're going to hang gosh. part of the company on Oh, it? gosh, man. If, I, if I'd have been in the office, I would have walked with the pot roast a lot faster if they'd wanted to put Sting in a black outfit and things coming down his face and a baseball bat. And, I, uh, you know, I, I would have said, hey, guys, you know, I, I don't think I can put, get, get anything going with this thought that uh, this guy was the franchise. He was WCW, and he was over with the kids and, the, you know, the, the pick, when they put him in the black outfit and all the stuff, what did the kids do? And I don't want my kids out there watching TV. You notice when I'm doing this interview with you, I'm not cussing and stuff because I respect children. If I have a child out there and he's watching this, I don't want his mom and dad to say, oh, you got to go away now because it, cause I'm not going to give you any nasty talk or stuff here. I, don't, I look at Sting the same way. I'm not going to let him do that. Uh, it's, it's the thing that he's, that's made him the whole time is he, the kids love him. And it's like Hogan back in the heyday. Sting was their Hogan. And uh, I wouldn't have changed I wouldn't have changed that. I'd and the NWO to use is kind of that other thing anyway. So Sting would have stood out a little more as kind of an opposite force if he stayed pure and the NWA was exactly. the dark and dirty kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. I, I guess they were thinking maybe when they put him in the black outfit and changed the look of his face and the stripes coming down and the, the stuff, they were thinking, well, that's a good fit for the NWO or something because it, otherwise it was ridiculous. You know, if you're going to fit him in the NWO or something, then he's got the ball bat, and he's going to beat people up with a bat now, and he's a crazed guy wearing black. and, and um, Trying to play off the crow. Was that, what year would that have been? Right around the same time. That's right? it. That's what they were doing. Yeah. They were trying to play off the crow. That uh, They had a young boy. Uh, I, gosh, I tried to find his name on here. That came down to the office. I know he went down to the office, and he gave them the idea of cutting off the lights. And then when the lights come back on, he's... Standing on the top rope, crouched down on the top rope, and he's, and he's the crow. And he said, gosh, the guy's name in here. Right. He gave them the idea, and they took it and used it with Sting. It wasn't Raven. Was it Raven? No, no it wasn't Raven. Uh, 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 but I rode in a car with the kid going to a show, and he told me, he said, what do you think about this, Colonel? He said, I told him about the thing where they would, every time they'd bring me out, they'd douse the lights, and they'd come out, and I'm just there. I didn't walk to the ring. I didn't do anything. Boom, he's just perched like a crow on the top rope, and he did the thing. And I said, gosh, that's kind of crazy, man. I like that. Then they stole the kid's idea and they put it on Sting. <laughs> they don't stay. He was mad and heck about it. He was like, gosh, yeah. I give him the idea. I said, well, kid, you be careful with those ideas, you know. The they get on the wrong man. But, uh, Danger. But, uh, yeah, I didn't like that, that thing with Sting. And I would have done it all different. I'd have had Sting fighting against this evil this bad evil. And, and all the time we're doing this, guys, it's important that every week we're telling this story that these guys, these NWO guys, are showing evil actions constantly. I mean, just they're just, they're annihilate guys in the ring past what is necessary. Mm -hmm. They're too big, too strong, and brilliant on top of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, can, you can tell all that story but you better darn well have a way out of it. Well, I was going to say, what, what are you looking toward when you have an angle this involved? What's your blow? Is there even a blow off or is it just going to spin into something else which spins into something? Spins into something else and spins into something else. And, and, and you better know that you're dealing with Hogan. Right. You're going to have a, a, a difficulty a little bit with getting all that you want done. So you got to go in as a booker. Here's where we're doing, going again. You got to go in. You got to live with Hogan. I mean, you you got to be in his head. You got to be in his heart. You got to live with him. You got to you got to let him know that. Listen, I'm 100% behind you, and that uh, that man. We're going to talk. I ain't going to do anything that you know that. You, but but I'm going to talk you into whatever I want done. <laughs> you can find a way to do that. Yeah. Right. Right.